So last year in August, right before school year started, I made this Hufflepuff hourglass. And this was my plan. Every time something positive happens every day, you write it on a note and then uh, you like, you, uh, you scrunch it all up into a ball and then throw it in the hourglass. So that's exactly what I did for an entire school year long from the end of August until the end of June, which is now a couple of weeks ago. And I didn't knew it back then, but this school year was about to change my entire life. So a few weeks ago, me and my boyfriend finally emptied the half of our glass, which really filled up over the course of an entire school year. Considering the amount of yellow paper I had to buy and cut up in little squares, um, I think there are about 250 little balls in that hourglass, which is wild. <laughs> a lot happened in the past school year and I can talk about it for hours and hours but for this video I just summed up a couple of important things like school projects, um, the teacher's feedback and some stuff about my personal life. So the school year started and it felt great like the vibe was just awesome and I immediately felt welcome. Term 1 was great. I was discovering myself, my interests, what I was good at and which career path would, would probably suit me best after this first orientation year. Term 2 was a little bit more difficult and now I, I don't know a lot of those difficult school terms in English so I'm just going to explain it as best as I can, I'm sorry. <laughs> I chose a direction called DDM or Digital Design and Motion. This education was basically for people who wanted to design games and all that stuff so I focused on that. And in turn two we had to make an ambition project and I talked about this a little bit already in my uh, school sketchbook tour so you can watch that if you want. I had a huge plan in mind for this project but it turned out to be way too difficult so I changed the plan like one or two weeks before the deadline, which was really stupid. <laughs> it was horrible. I ended up making a 2D drawing of a 3D screenshot from uh, the Pokemon game Sword and Shield. <laughs> Fucking horrible. And at the end of term two, we had an interview with a teacher from DDM and we had to show our portfolio and the project we made. And after that interview, um, the teacher had three options. They could give you a positive advice, a negative advice, or an like uh, an unsure advice. And unfortunately, I got the middle one, which would be okay if I wasn't such a depressed, anxious, sh shitty little bitch. <laughs> so things went downhill a little bit. Got stuck in the dip for a couple of weeks, but it's fine. I worked my way out again, and I started focus on the next project, which was. The Shine Project. This is basically chapter 2 of that ambition project in which you take that uh, feedback you receive from the teacher and you created something based off of that feedback to show that you you do have what it takes. And my feedback was that I need to make a more original stuff so that's exactly what I did and I created the Witch of Aeon. I still don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> it's a completely original design and Every little thing is designed and put together by me. <laughs> I created two outfits, a name, uh, a background story, and I did what I do best, showcase the process perfectly. <laughs> process is very important at the school, maybe even more important than the end result. And at the end of turn three, I finally got my positive advice. And I hear you thinking, it's all good now, you're going to do DDM next year, no. <laughs> I chose for a different career path called CMV or uh, cross media, which is basically for people who want to design posters, logos, um, packaging, advertisements and all that stuff. You see, in each term we could take different electives, so I always chose DDM and CMV because that was my second choice. And halfway through uh, term 4 I realized that my feedback on uh, the CMV projects I made were really positive actually and sometimes even more positive than um, the feedback on my DDM projects so that got me thinking am I going to choose something um, that I like but 
I'm not sure if I got the skills for it or am I going to choose something that I like and already know I have the skills for it and the teacher keeps convincing me that I should choose this education so I did some thinking and I did go for CMB so that's what I'm going to do for the next uh, three years <laughs> and the rest of my life but that's enough about school um, I want to talk about myself and personal growth because this school year has definitely been a key chapter in in this book called my life <laughs> i've grown in ways i thought i could never grow but i've also reached dips so deep and experienced new ways that um my anxiety and depression could ruin my life it's been a weird year but it's definitely been easier to focus on the positive stuff thanks to the Hufflepuff Hourglass and my lovely boyfriend. Here are a few things I did this year which I thought I could never ever do because of my insecurities. I'm doing sleepovers on a weekly basis now and I even sleep in the same bed as my boyfriend which was very difficult at first and still is difficult sometimes because of how much I hate my body. I played guitar in front of somebody else which has always been difficult for me because I'm scared that people would judge me badly. I bought a dress and I actually wore it outside and in front of other people um, <laughs> I thought this day would never go I went to a birthday party for the first time in probably five years so <laughs> that's um, something and there are many many more things I thought I could never do but did this school year so that's cool some things finally start to feel normal which is a huge change but some things are still scary no matter how many times i do them uh, like eating in front of other people i've done it loads and loads of times now and it's it still gives me anxiety i've also had quite a few anxiety attacks or panic attacks or however you want to call them i've never had them this bad before but then again i've been more social than ever and sometimes it's it's still too much my my brain just takes over and i start overthinking literally everything i start staring into nothing and sometimes i even lose the ability to speak or move and i cry <laughs> i obviously cry this year has been great but i still cry a lot <laughs> but it's it's all right it's just my way of releasing tension i guess now i just gotta find a way to deal with this shit <laughs> and and maybe cry a bit less but hey, back to all the positive stuff that happened this year. This year has honestly been life-changing. It was the perfect year to do the Half Above Hourglass project. Before this year, I was um, a lonely, depressed, anxious girl who's just shy, according to my parents. Uh, <laughs> my only future plan for the past five years was to, you know, end it all somewhere. And I still didn't do it. And now I'm kind of glad that I didn't because I'm slowly turning into this girl who's slowly starting to accept herself and slowly starting to welcome more people in her life. But for the first time in my entire life, I feel like I have a future plan. Like I have a vision of what my ideal life looks like and I've literally never had that before. It's scary but also exciting but also very scary and i don't want to think about it too much we'll just wait and see what happens next year because at this moment anything could happen <laughs> i i really don't know what to expect anymore but we'll just wait and see but for now i'm going to end this video because i've been talking for way too fucking long <laughs> i'm going to enjoy my vacation and take a break because i fucking need one i am planning on painting and drawing and crafting and doing whatever a lot so <laughs> um if you want to see that this vacation and you know after this vacation too you can subscribe um you can like this video leave a comment and yeah i will see you in the next video maybe hopefully <laughs> okay bye